Hey, John, you remember that the job we asked you to do is due today, right? Are you going to be able to finish it in time? I'm sorry. I don't think I could do it today. What? And you couldn't tell me that sooner? Ugh, I feel like you have been slacking off a bit recently. I know I'm your wife, and it's easier for you to not take our company too seriously, but we are still your proper client. One of my important clients suddenly asked me to do something for them, and that messed up my whole schedule. That has nothing to do with us, so... And you talk about an important client, but our company probably has the longest relationship with you. You have to value each and every job you get equally. You're going to lose credibility if you keep doing this. I'm sorry. I promise this won't happen again. I will definitely finish it by tomorrow. Thank you. You have to understand that I'm in a difficult position. I don't want people to think that I'm cutting you slack because we are married. Please remember that. Yes, I understand. But your boss likes my illustrative work too, right? I mean, it's not just you. Well, yeah. But that's a different story from you not meeting the deadline. Yes, I'm sorry. Is your schedule that tight right now? Yeah, kind of. Well, I can cook supper for us tonight then. Are you sure? I mean, it is my turn to cook today. It's okay. I can do it tonight. I think I can finish a bit early today anyways. Thank you. I'm sorry I'm always relying on you so much. You don't have to be sorry at all. You would do it for me too, if it were the other way around. Of course I would, but still. I feel like the amount of work you have to do isn't really fair compared to mine. Well, you are in a creative field. That requires you to always think about work, and use your head even when you're not working. It's not like you have a set time to start and finish your work like I do. Every job is hard in its own way. I'm so grateful that you chose to be with me, you know? I feel so fortunate to have such an understanding wife supporting me by my side. <laughs> What's gotten into you? Well, actually... There's another reason why my schedule is so tight right now. You know my childhood friend, Rachel? Yeah? Didn't she move out of state for her husband's work or something? Yeah, she did. Apparently they're getting a divorce now. And she needed someone to talk to, so we were chatting for a bit. Is that so? That must be hard on her. Her husband is unbelievable. Even though he's the one who kept neglecting his family, he lost it completely the moment Rachel starts seeing somebody else. Wait, what? Uh, hold on for a sec. You mean, she was having an affair? Yeah, I guess you could say that. But it's all her husband's fault to begin with. Apparently he's been very cold towards her, and even yelling and screaming at her as well. That's horrible. But still, she should have waited until they broke up. I understand why she would want to have someone to rely on in such a hard situation, but she couldn't have done something before she decided to have an affair? She wasn't trying to have an affair, you know. It just happened out of the blue. I'm sure there are people who would understand a supporter like you do, but most people would still see it as an affair and judge her because of that. I know! Her parents wouldn't even let her stay at their place because of it. Even though Rachel has no one else to turn to, and she's been a housewife forever up until now. Isn't it horrible? What about the guy she's seeing? I thought he was supporting her through the divorce. As it turned out, he was also married. Of course Rachel didn't know that. That is a very messed up situation. I wish I could do something for her, but... So far, the only thing I could do is to just be there when she needs someone to talk to. I've known her since we were little kids, and that's all I could do for her when she needs help the most. I feel helpless. I don't think you need to feel helpless. 
I'm sure having someone to talk to who's also supportive of her is making a big difference for her. I'm sure you are being a big help. You think so? I know so. And she has to be the one who decides her future for now on, so... You do what you can do to help her for now. Okay. I'm sorry to have bothered you like this while you're busy at work. Don't worry about it. I was on my lunch break anyways. You can concentrate on your work for now. You feel better now that you let that all out of your system, right? Yeah, I should concentrate. I'll make sure to finish your Kokanese project as soon as possible. Hey, John. Are you out somewhere? I just came home. Oh, hey. Sorry. I'm just on my way home. Where have you been? You were supposed to be in charge of the supper tonight. But I don't see anything prepared yet. Yeah. It's okay if I just pick up some takeout tonight. I'll stop by somewhere on my way home. When are you going to be home? I'm not sure. I just left, so it'll take me about 40 minutes or so. That's pretty late. I can whip up something easy for tonight, then. Really? That's great. Thank you. Did you have a meeting or something? No. Rachel asked me to see her, actually. What? Rachel? She came all the way out here? She got kicked out right after they submitted the divorce papers. Is that so? Hey, Miranda. What do you think of us taking her in for a while? What? Um... I don't know if I like that idea. I feel like things are going in a weird direction. She doesn't have anyone else to turn to. Well, I know, but... I hardly know her. I know she's your good friend, and she means a lot to you, but... I don't mean to sound harsh, but she cheated on her husband, and therefore got kicked out, right? I told you, she didn't mean for it to happen! That doesn't matter. She still did it. My precious friend is in trouble. I want to help her. I know you do, but... It's one thing if she needs to hide away from a domestic violence husband or something, She's the one who chose to be in this situation. Even if I agree to let her stay with us, how long are you thinking? She just needs some time to rest and heal her wounds. And she wants to look for a job. Right. But I still can't agree with this idea. I'm sorry. I don't care if you help her out financially using your own money. But I want you to separate that from our joint finances. I can't believe this. I didn't know that you could be so ruthless. What? You think I'm being ruthless? Yeah, aren't you? If you can easily ignore someone who desperately needs help. You are not really making sense. Think about it. She's good at house chores. Wouldn't she be a great help for us? Since we're both busy working and all? Well, yeah. We are both working, but you work from home. And you have more free time at home than I do. That's why I ask you to help out with the housework. You are right. I do have more free time. But I think it'll help me work harder if Rachel came to help things out. I thought your work isn't too busy right now. If Rachel could do our house chores, I could feel more motivated to work harder on getting new clients. Shouldn't you... Do that despite having Rachel around to begin with? Well, you know, I have been taking on 70% of the house chores and you're only doing 30%. I always feel like I need to cut back on my workload because of that. You think I'm only doing 30%? I think I'm doing more than that. No, that's not true at all. You probably don't realize this because you're busy working outside. There are way more small chores to do than you realize. Well, if you say so. But that doesn't mean I can agree on letting Rachel stay with us. Why not? I don't see what the big deal is. It's only for the short term. It is a big deal, because I know it's not going to be short term. And I didn't say anything about you supporting her personally. I think I'm being very reasonable already. 
We all have to help each other out when someone's in trouble. I would never ask for such a favor from my friend if I were in her shoes. Especially not to a married guy friend. I know she's in trouble, but it's a bit hard to understand. I never thought you could be so heartless. <laughs> I never thought we would disagree on things like this either. Anyways, you have to come up with a different solution for her. Like I said, I'm never going to agree to this. I have an idea if you're going to be that way. What do you mean? I think I'm going to stay out a bit longer tonight. I'm worried about Rachel. You could go ahead and eat supper by yourself. Wait, John, are you planning on staying out for the night? I don't want to be with someone who doesn't have a heart. Hey, John, do you mind elaborating on this? Aren't you being too selfish? You mean about how I brought Rachel home? We talked about this. I don't want her staying with us. I can't help it. She has nowhere else to go. Have you even looked into the details on a woman's shelter? I heard that they help support women in these types of situations. Why does she have to go to a shelter when she could stay with us? She could never relax in a place like that. I know she's already here, and I can't suddenly kick her out or anything. But she has to find somewhere else to stay this week. I can't wait longer than that. How can you say such a horrible thing? Do you realize how badly hurt she is? I don't know the details of what happened between Rachel and her husband. And yeah, maybe it was her husband's fault like you say. But I still think she put herself in this situation herself. She should have asked for a divorce before she finds someone else. Then her parents wouldn't have cut her off like that. What's the point of talking about what's already done? Well, I know you can't change the past. But that doesn't mean you should do something I don't appreciate. Miranda, have a heart. Rachel and I grew up together, so she's like family. Maybe for other people it seems like she made a bad mistake. But I want to be on her side, even in that case. Oh, I get where you're coming from. I really do. But you can't ignore my feelings like this. I'm sorry, but I still can't let her stay with us. You still don't get it? I would consider getting a divorce if you keep acting this way. What? I'm that determined. Oh, is that so? I didn't think you would bring up a divorce. You can do whatever you like then. But you should probably worry about yourself since you just lost your job. What do you mean by that? What I mean is that there's no reason for my company to give you any more business ever again. That's oppressive! Who's being oppressive? Aren't you the one who's threatening divorce to get what you want? But divorce and work are completely separate matters. You have to understand that I give work to any illustrator that happens to be available. And I choose you only because you're my husband. Our company can always pick other illustrators to work with. You only got this work because you had me as a connection. You're threatening me. It's not like we have a long-term contract or anything. You could try suing us if you'd like, but I doubt you would be able to win. I only want to help Rachel. I can't just leave her all alone when she's in trouble. I have been having a difficult time understanding your selfish behaviors anyways. I mean, should there be any other person who's more important than a husband's wife? Hey, Miranda, are you still not coming home? Is it Rachel there? Well, yeah. It's been a week. As we promised. The fact that you still have her there means you decided to prioritize her, right? No, that's not the case. I was going to ask her to leave, but she was really down from what she went through, so... So... I'm sorry. Saying sorry doesn't change anything. Miranda, please. I want you to come home. What makes you think that I would? In fact, I'm going to come by just to pick up my stuff. One of my colleagues helped me find a new place. What? A new place? Yeah, we are getting a divorce, aren't we? I'm going to need a new place to live. I didn't mean that seriously. So, you only said it to threaten me? 
<sighs> That's even worse. Either way, that really disappointed me and made it easy for me to contemplate divorcing you. Hold on a second. I don't want to get a divorce. Do you even understand what's causing the situation we are in right now? Please, I'll do anything. I'll get more clients without completely relying on you. I'll make sure to pay any expenses related to Rachel. Are you still talking about Rachel? Well, because if I will help her, she's... Well, you can live happily ever after with Rachel then. I will stop by with all the paperwork we need for a divorce within the next few days or so. No! I don't want to break up! What? <laughs> Aren't you the one who brought up divorce to begin with? I told you I didn't mean it seriously! That was something you should have never said. I can't stay married to someone who uses the divorce card so lightly just as a tool to threaten me. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I'm way past the point where I would even consider forgiving you. And are you so blind that you can't even see how Rachel is just using you? What kind of woman cheats on her husband, gets dumped because of that, and also gets dumped by the guy she cheated with, and then ask her married guy friend to take her in after that? She was just in shock from the divorce. She's just refusing to take any responsibility for anything she did. Why do I have to provide support for a woman like that? She thinks she can just mooch off of people to survive. Even if it means she's breaking up the other family. She wouldn't do that if she had any common sense. She knows that she caused us all these relationship issues and still has the nerve to stay in our house. Don't say it like that. I'm sure she's just trying her hardest to overcome the situation. I'm trying my hardest to overcome the situation too. Would you have cared about me more if I showed that I was hurt and heartbroken more obviously like she did? I was trying to work and live my life as per my usual self, but I was hurt. I'm sorry. It's too late for any apologies. Okay, I'm going to ask Rachel to leave. Hal will try to keep you away from all her troubles from now on. Does that sound good? Would you forgive me then? Definitely not. The person I'm upset about the most is not Rachel. It's you. I promise to listen to you about everything from now on. Please don't abandon me. How am I supposed to live without you? I thought you said you were going to work harder to earn more? You can work hard and make enough money to provide for Rachel. Also, we always said we would both do the house chores equally, but I always have had to do more. Even for your job, you can never meet the deadlines and always ask me for help in the end. I have always supported you because you are my husband. But this was asking way too much, even for you. I'm sorry. I'll make sure Rachel leaves. Miranda, I'm really sorry. I was taking you for granted. I was getting too selfish and wasn't thinking about you at all. Too little too late. I can't forgive you even if I wanted to, because apparently I don't even have a heart, right? You'll have to excuse me on that. You're not heartless. You always cared for and thought about me. You do remember you were the one who said those things to me, right? But I think you were the real heartless one here. Because you chose to care more about another woman. After that... I was able to divorce him. My ex-husband kept fighting for a while to try to avoid divorce. But in the end, he wasn't able to make Rachel leave and realized he had no right to fight the divorce as a result. He also had to give up his job as a freelancer and start working for some company to pay for the rent. He was just barely making ends meet and apparently he wasn't happy with Rachel for not doing anything all day at home. And they kept fighting with each other in the end, Rachel met somebody else and left him. He finally realized who Rachel truly is after that. And he told her parents about the whole situation and where she is right now. Apparently, he completely cut off any relationship he had with her and regrets everything. I found out all of this from a letter he wrote me through our lawyers. But the only thing I thought after reading his letter 
was how stupid he is. I don't regret anything. It's nothing to do with me, even if he is regretting everything he did. I don't think we will ever get back together ever again. Since we got divorced, I was able to focus more on my work. And I'm really enjoying my single life. And my life got so much easier as well. John claimed that he was doing more house chores, but it was obvious that I was taking on more. I always had to deal with all the dishes and the laundry that he left out every night after I came home from work. But now that I'm alone, I only have to take care of myself. And I don't feel any unnecessary stress. And yes, maybe Rachel triggered this, but I feel like we would have broken up sooner or later anyways. I had chosen to support him and his career, but I learned that there is a limit to that. I don't have any time or space to heal my wound like Rachel did, but... I have my family, friends, and co-workers who care about me. I will work hard for my career and remember to spoil myself from time to time. And completely forget about this nightmare and move on to find my own happiness again. Mom just passed away! Get here ASAP! What? I need help with the funeral! I'm in shock! Judy? Of course! I'm in shock. Even if you hate me or mom, you're my brother's wife. So you have to help out. Mother-in-law's funeral is impossible. Stop messing with me. What? Are you a scam artist? What do you mean? Mother-in-law passed away last year. You didn't know? I won't let you scam me. What are you saying? You're not a very good scammer. Mary? Don't call my name. How's this? I have to file a document within seven days after her death. I also have a doctor's note. Want to see? Seriously? Yes. Yes, it's me. I was drunk and slept through most of your wedding, right? It's you. I don't have time. I have a meeting with the funeral hall. You can get here in about an hour, right? Last year around this time, Alex told me that his mom passed away. Why did he lie? Didn't you think it was weird there was no funeral? Your mother's will. He said that's why there is no funeral. You believed him? I thought it was weird, so I wanted to say my goodbyes. But he said mom hated me, so she wouldn't want me there. It's the opposite. He told me not to contact you because you hate mom and I. Mom was sad. I never said that. I also heard that you hate me so I don't have to get along with this family. That's why he didn't come at all. I thought mother-in-law passed away. And you hated me, so I stayed away for this past year. Why did Alex lie to the both of us? I don't know. We will find out sooner or later. It's not funny if it's a joke. He said he needs $10,000 for the family last year, so I let him the money. That's a huge amount. He said he needs a lot because he's in charge and is the eldest son. That's what he said. The person in charge usually doesn't have to prepare money. And he also told you there was no funeral, right? Right. So he tricked us all. How can he lie about someone's death? Even if there is a reason, why would he use his own mother? I'm sorry for believing him. He's good with words. He's tricked me countless times in the past as well. Anyways, I'll head over there. Don't tell him. He has work anyways, right? You're sure? He doesn't deserve to say goodbye to mom. Leave it to me. Okay. It must be stupid reason anyways. He won't be allowed in the funeral. I'll make him regret it. Are you sure? If he misses tomorrow, maybe there was an important reason. That's why he tricks you. Okay. I'll do some research so we can know the truth. Okay, I'll be there ASAP. Please! Dad is gone too, so I need help. Yes, it must be hard for you. I'm so busy, I haven't cried yet. Even though Mom passed away. You can cry on my shoulders. Thanks! Why aren't you answering? I'm busy with work. I called work and said you have the day off today. Why would you do that? Is there a problem? No, but don't call my work. So, where are you? Who cares? 
I sometimes want to get some rest. Okay. Are we done? Sorry, I have more to say. What? I lent you money for your mom last year, right? Yes. I guess I borrowed it from you since I didn't have cash. I need it back. Huh? I need it. Don't you care about my mom? Yes. Then how can you say you want it back? But you said there was no funeral due to her will. So why do you need the money? Oh. We did a small funeral with just the family. I hid it since I thought you'd want to come if I told you. Okay. Even with a small funeral, it costs $10,000. I'm the eldest, so I have to pay. So, is it for the funeral? What is it? Who cares? I have to pay to the funeral hall either way. But you told me you would give it back. Just think mom has it in heaven. I need it today or tomorrow. Why? I can't see. I see. Why are you hiding it? You can't ask me for money. Okay. Also, I won't go back today. You're staying out? I'm going out to drink with Bill. Oh, your friend from high school. Yes, so I'll stay at my parents' house. What? Why are you surprised? Nothing. Tell Judy I said hi. Why Judy? Only mom's home. Huh? Your mom died last year, right? I made a mistake. I can't believe she's gone. Who cares? Don't call me. Bye. I investigated. He's going to go out with Bill and stay at his parents' house. It's a lie anyways. The wake will start soon. I'll be back soon. Everyone loved your mom. So many people are here. Yes, she was very charming. Did you find out anything about Alex? Yes. What is it? Right now? I'm getting the details, so I'll send it all at once. I don't have time to text forever. Okay. But he is a liar. Yes. You know, Bill? Oh, he's going to drink with him today. That's a lie. Because Bill would be at the wake. Really? I'm dating Bill. What? I was embarrassed dating my brother's bestie, but I'm glad I kept it a secret. What do you mean? Alex tells Bill everything. Bill keeps any promise. Except for... And that is... Me. Huh? He'll tell me anything because he doesn't want to lose me. So he told me everything. Yes. Bill has so much evidence. So when the funeral is over, we can tell him. Thank you, Judy. I wanted to only think about Mom right now, but there is so much I have to do because of my stupid-ass brother. It's annoying. I know, right? Don't lose to him. You have to be calm and get him. I'll try my best. Anyways, I'll head to the funeral hall as well. I'll be waiting here. Are you done drinking? I'm so drunk because he makes me drink so much. I'm sleeping at my parents' house right now. Judy is here too, so she prepared the bed for me. I see. Bill didn't make me drink over here. What are you talking about? Nobody is at your parents' home right now, and your sister is with me right now. What are you saying? Where are you? I'm at the funeral house. Whose funeral is it? The funeral is tomorrow, but the wake is today. It's for your mom. What? It's funny. Last year you told me that there was no funeral and she passed away. Did she come back to life? Mom passed away? Yes, it was heart failure. No way. Where's the funeral home? I'll be right there. I don't think there's any more flights from where you are. How do you know about it? Your sister told me. She told me that you were traveling with a woman. Wait a minute. No, I won't. You've had relations with her for about three years ago. She's a receptionist at your company. It's not true. You married me three years ago, so what's going on? Can you explain it to me? Judy is just saying crazy things. We never got along. How about Bill? Is he a liar? No, he's not a liar. Well, Bill told me everything. And he also sent me screenshots of your text between you and your mistress. He showed me everything. There is no way he would betray me. Bill is dating your sister right now. No way. It doesn't matter. 
So, why did you lie to me one year ago about your mother dying? Well... And why are you traveling with your mistress around the same time this year? It's a coincidence. It's her birthday, right? Um... You say that you're too busy and don't have any money to celebrate my birthday. We go to the local sushi restaurant. Why are you treating me so differently? Well, this is... If you like her, you should marry her. I love you, Mary. Bullshit. It's because you wanted to work at my uncle's company, right? So you thought that you can get ahead if you're my family. That's not true. Because of you, I wasn't able to talk to your mother for one year because I thought she was dead. I don't care about the affair. I'm so sorry I wasn't able to see your mother. I'm sad too. I never thought she would actually die. You have no right to be sad. To prove it, you weren't even invited to the wake. I'm not going to forgive my sister. Don't come to the funeral tomorrow as well. I am the eldest son. So what? As you wish, I'm going to have a funeral tomorrow for your mother. You should just enjoy your trip. Are you joking? You're the one that's joking. Your attitude change. Your sister told me that I shouldn't give in to you. She told me I should beat you up. Don't be influenced like a bitch like her. Don't talk shit about your sister. Please, just tell me where the funeral is. I'll get there tomorrow morning. If you really want to say goodbye to your mother, why did you lie about her dying last year? It's so inappropriate. I had no choice because that was the only thing I could think of. You are so shitty. Don't come to the funeral. I will go for sure because I want to see mom. You're not making sense. I'm going to ask Bill. Too bad. Bill chooses his lover more than a shitty friend. Why does he even like my sister? He always liked weird women. I don't like his personality at all. My sister is going to sit on him for the rest of his life. He's such a sucker. Bill didn't know you thought of him that way. What? I'm with your sister and Bill right now and texting you. It's not true, Bill. It was just a spur of the moment. He deleted your contact information from his phone. Why would he do that? We're best friends. Also your sister, she also deleted your contact information. Why is everyone erasing me from their life? The funeral was $30,000, so you have to pay $15,000 to me ASAP. That's what she's saying. Fuck you. You don't want me at the funeral, but you want me to pay? Also, give me back the money I lent you. The $10,000, because I want to use it for this funeral. Holy shit. Is that why you said you need the money back? I never knew funerals cost as much money. I know that your mother wouldn't complain about a cheap coffin, but I want her to be in a nice coffin with beautiful flowers. So I talked it over with your sister, and we decided not to be stingy there. That's stupid. It's just going to burn anyways. If I was there, I wouldn't have let you spend that much money. I'm so glad you weren't here because the funeral was beautiful. That's so stupid. I'll say goodbye to mom on my own. So do whatever you want. I'll enjoy my trip. So we're going to get a divorce, right? I don't care. Then you're fired. What are you talking about? My uncle told me that if you ever hurt me, he will come up with a reason to fire you. That's a violation of the law. Then why don't you go to the government? Last year you took some days off because of the funeral and went to Hawaii. You also got a lot of money from your bosses for the funeral. That's not true. You should return all of it. That's impossible to do. Do you know how much it's going to be? You also have to pay for this actual funeral and pay me back the money. So I'm guessing about $30,000. At least avoid me getting fired. I won't be able to find a company that pays me $4,500. That's true. They paid you that money because you were my family. Please. I'll do my best, so please tell the CEO. All you care about is yourself. What are you talking about? Aren't you worried about your sister who's in shock because your mother died? She has to do so much paperwork, and she's going to have to do it all alone. I guess you don't care about other people at all. I'm sorry. Don't ever come back. But I guess if we do that, the people in the state you're currently in wouldn't like it. So you should get off the planet. How can you say that much? A funeral is where I can say goodbye to the deceased, but it's also time to face my heart. You should regret everything. I'm so sorry, Mom. I'm so sorry, Sis. It's too late. Goodbye. Please, let me say goodbye. If you come tomorrow, I will report you to the police. I don't want to say goodbye like this. 
Alex was fired from his job. There were so many reasons to fire him for. Since he had been unfaithful to the company, there was not going to be a retirement payment. So he has to earn money to pay back to everybody. I also demanded $20,000 to both him and his mistress for the affair. The woman also didn't want to stay at the company, so she quit. She paid me money borrowing it from her parents. Now, Alex has to pay over $50,000. I thought he would run away, but he's working multiple jobs right now, and he is paying back the bills. I guess he was human and was able to regret his decisions. Judy cried during her speech. Everyone was touched by her words. It was a very beautiful funeral. When the morning is over, Bill and Judy decided to get married. They are going to invite me to their wedding, so I'm very excited.